My name is Sarah King and I'm an adult swim instructor. Recently, I had the amazing opportunity to teach my dad, who is 81 years old, how to swim for the first time. He's gonna share today how his relationship with water was before this, how this experience was, and I asked him to share any advice that he might say to those that also have limited swimming experience as adults. What was your experience like with swimming before this past week? What's your history with swimming? Well, I'm 80 years old, so I've had a lot of history. And I was, I was raised in a family where my mother, in particular, because my dad died when I was young, and so she was my family. And she said, I don't want you swimming. And I finally talked her into letting me go to the local pool. And, but there, all I did was walk around and hold on to the fence. Never did take a swimming test. I never learned how to swim. Besides that, she was really poor. We as a family were very poor. And, and there really was no money to, to get me trained. And there wasn't anybody that seemed to be willing to do that, mm -hmm. even though I had friends and cousins and so on who, who liked to swim. Well, when I was about 29 years old, I met my future wife, and her family had a, a houseboat on the Mississippi River, and that was entertainment for the whole family much of the summer. I didn't spend the whole summer there, but I did spend a few weeks off and on, weekends at least. And I, I felt a little ashamed when I was with the family because all I could do is get off the boat when we pulled into the dock and I'd walk around the, the boat a little bit as in shallow water. Uh, and then I had kids and I went out with the kids and kind of helped them get acquainted with the water. Um, and incidentally, they all grew up as great swimmers. And my wife is a great swimmer, but I never took the opportunity. And I, and I regret that now, um, but they were all good. And I was happy to watch, <laughs> watch a lot of swimming. And, and uh, it, was, it was fun for me to watch them. I, I didn't think it'd be fun to swim. What made you decide to start learning now? Well, you. Uh, <laughs> my, my daughter is a, a wonderful swimmer, and she does swimming lessons. Um, and she encouraged me to come down and take advantage of learning how to do it from her. I probably wouldn't have done it from anybody else, but... I, I liked her, and she was so good, uh, very comforting, very, uh, very aware of what, what needed to happen, and, and I didn't have a clue. So we've been doing that about six, six, seven, eight hours. I don't know how many hours it's been, but it's been a few hours during the course of one week. And now I feel comfortable in the water. I know how to breathe when I'm in the water. I know several different techniques in swimming. I can roll over, get some breath that way when I get tired, and then I can get back to what I'm doing. Just you name it, she did it. <laughs> it was it was great. And unfortunately, it's coming to an end. I have to go home. But there, I plan to continue my training in the Y. I'm going to go there and swim laps and try to get in with some other people who swim as well. So I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Do you have any advice for people that don't have very much experience with swimming? Yes. Yes. I think you should take some lessons. I, you know, I waited until I was over 80 to do that. And now I, I really regret it. Uh, it's safe, it's fun, and I had to shed a lot of, of just fear. And with my daughter, it was no fear at all. She did a good job of teaching, 
And I did a good job of learning. <laughs> so, so now I can go back home and I can swim laps in the, in the pool, uh, or I can do whatever I need to in water. And I encourage everybody to do that, preferably before they get to be my age. 